News from the region and from around the state, this is a Florida Focus Environment Brief. Hello and welcome to Florida Focus. I'm Lucille Solomon. There are called Spoil Islands, man-made islands serving as dumping grounds for dredged sand in Tampa Bay. These islands are also home to thousands of birds. Nesting season has started and soon a new dredging project will begin. The work will be carefully orchestrated. Audubon, Florida is working with state agencies and contractors to ensure the safety of the birds in their nest. Birds aren't the only animals nesting on the beach. Brian Rothenberger has more. As the water and weather heat up, tourists come to tan and turtles come to nest. The last three years, there has been definitely an increase in numbers. St. Pete Beach and Shell Island had a total of 84 nests, which is a record. Bruno attributes his success to the work of volunteers and the actions of beach towns. About 1,500 people that are involved in some way, shape, or form with saving turtles. If you're out enjoying the beach this season and you come across a turtle in distress or an unmarked nest, the best thing you can do is contact Florida Fish and Wildlife. They will in turn notify Bruno or the beach's corresponding agency. On St. Pete Beach with Florida Focus, I'm Brian Rothenberger. A national environmental group wants to stop a popular tourist tradition in Florida. Public Employees for Environmental Responsibility wants to end interactions between man and manatee. The group has issued notice to file suit against the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Agency. They want all programs that allow people within 10 feet of manatees to be shut down. U.S. Fish and Wildlife officials say the desires of the environmental agency are similar to the stance the state may soon be taken on the issue. That's all we have for Florida Focus this evening. Thank you for watching.